Once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, you're now tuning to the Investor Show. And today's topic, we're going to be talking about how to set stop limit or triggers, how to set triple triggers to buy and sell stocks at a particular time in the future. So I know how you guys and girls are probably wondering, hey, you know, I have to work. I have I don't have time to sit here and watch the stock. But if it hits a certain price, could I buy it? Could I set a trigger to buy it? If it goes down to a certain price, can I buy it? Yes, you can set triggers inside of TD Ameritrade. So in this video today, we're going to talk about exactly how to set up triggers to buy and sell stocks with TD Ameritrade. But first, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, hit that like, comment, and share button. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and children of all ages, you are now tuned in to the Investor Show. As always, this is your gracious host, the Prince of Investing, Prince Dykes, coming to you guys and girls live all the way from the beautiful city and state of Denver, Colorado. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, comment, share button. And as always, I don't have a lot of time, and I definitely know you guys and girls don't have a lot of time, so we're going to jump straight into it. So today's video, we're going to be talking about orders, right? We're going to be talking about setting these triggers. So in order to set these triggers right here, what you see, I have my TD Ameritrade pulled up and you can just put in any stock, put in any stock that you want to. Right. And then you're going to go up here to your uh, buy button, hit the buy button and it's going to bring up your ticket order down here. You see the ticket order action you want to buy or if you want to sell, how many you want to buy or sell, you know, what stocks. So for prime example, let's say we type in Facebook. Right. And right here, let's say we want to buy or sell one share. And right here, when we get to order types, this is where you're going to figure it out. Now, if you want a more deeper explanation, go hit an order type, hit that question mark button, and it's going to have a tutorial there. But if you want me to give you a simple breakdown, the best breakdown there is, stay tuned right here, and I'm going to give it to you. So we're going to walk through every last one of what these things mean, and this is going to be a great video. So first, let's talk about what... Um, we're going to first talk about a market order. So a market order is get me the best price at the market. If I'm buying, get me the best price at the market. If I'm selling, get me the best price at that time. Whatever price is going for, get it for me. I want the best price at that particular time, right? Now you're going to go down to the next one, which is a limit. A limit order. A limit order tells you, hey, uh, give me, I don't want the best price. I want it only at this price. This is where you click it at. That's market, what we just talked about. Limit when you put in a limit order, you say, Hey, I want to buy Facebook. Facebook is traded for $241. Let's say I want to buy it or sell it, and you have to put in a particular price. The good thing about it is you have a particular price on the order, but the bad part about it is if the stock is moving very fast, it can shoot through your price. For prime example, let's say this, you know, it's something like Tesla that's shooting all over the place. And when it's shooting that fast, it can shoot over your price or under your price because a limit order is like only get me this price. If you can't get me this price, I don't want it. Right. That's what a limit order is. Next up. Now we got the complicated stuff, but but it ain't complicated. People like to call it complicated. So this is the stock market price. So right here, you're going to say, hey. If this stock hits this price, put me in a market order. And we just talked about what a market order is. A market order is get me the best price at this particular time. So for prime example, let's say if I'm selling and you say, hey, if you own Facebook, you're like, if it hits $230, you can put in your price right here. If it hits $230, get me out at the best price. That's the stock market price. Same thing if you was buying. You go here to action if you was buying. If this stock hit $230 and... uh Turn it into a market order by this particular price. That's a stop market price. The next up is stop limit. You guys and girls already know what this is. When you go to the stop limit, this is saying, hey, when the stock hits this price, when it hits $230, sell it for this price. You guys and girls can see who's catching this on the playback. Let's say for prime example, I'm just throwing in some numbers here. So for right here, the action price is if the stock hits $240, I want you to buy this stock for $245. Put me in a limit order for $200 and whatever, right? So this is a stop limit. If this if this price get hit, hit, get me a limit order, right? That's a stop limit. Next up, trailing dollar sign. So the trailing dollar sign, this is saying, hey, uh, 
If this stock is going up or going down, I want you to follow it by ten dollars. If this stock drops, if this stock drops ten dollars, I want you to buy it. If this stock drops five dollars, you right here, right up on the stop, you put in what price you want. Five dollars. If the stock drops five dollars, trailing stop dollar sign. The stock drops five dollars. I want you to buy it. But as long as this keep going up, keep it. But if it drops ten dollars, buy it. So that's a trailing stop because it's trailing behind the stock. And if it hits a certain price that you want, it'll get you in at a particular price. Now the next one, you have stop a trailing stop percentage. I labeled this one wrong here. But we're going to go through my high that. So we're going to do trailing stop percentage for the people that are seeing. I put the wrong uh, thing there when I set up the show. Trailing stop percentage is saying the same thing the trailing stop dollar sign, but it's doing it by percentages. Follow this stock. If it drops 5%, you put in a percent. If it drops 5%, I want you to sell it or I want you to buy it. Whatever you want it to do. This is how you can set triggers. And that's going to conclude the triggers. Now, the next thing you got is the time in force. How long do you want this to be good for? Do you want it to be good for the day? Or you can put a date. I want it to be good until December. If this follow this stock, and if it drops five percent, buy it. Do this until what percentage? So the time and force tells you how long do you want this to go on, right? So this is how you can set triggers and be able to walk away. So let's kind of go through what we talked about. We talked about the market giving the best price right now. You know, giving the best price to buy or sell right now. Limit order. I want to buy, but only for this particular price. I want to buy or sell it only at this particular price. Stop market. Stop market means if the stock hits this dollar sign, buy or sell this for the best price that's on the market. Next one, stop limit. If the stock hits this dollar sign, I want you to buy or sell my stock for this particular price. That's a limit. Trailing dollar sign, follow this stock. And if it falls, whatever dollar sign you want, if it falls $5, $10, $20, I want you to buy it. As long as it's going up, go with it. But if it falls by this many dollar signs, buy it. Now, the last one we got is the trailing percentage. Same thing as a trailing dollar. Follow it. And if it falls by this percentage, buy it. Right? So I hope that makes sense to you guys and girls. If it does, uh, drop some comments below. Let me know what you guys and girls think. My name is Prince Dykes. This is The Investor Show. And until the next video podcast, cartoon, or whatever else crazy you see me do around the globe, peace, be safe. I'm out. And thank you. Oh, 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 oh,